Welcome back to another episode of Bat Diaries, where we're going to share how you can contribute to bat conservation through the Neighborhood Bat Watch. We need your help because bat populations in the Northeast have been devastated by this disease called White Nose Syndrome. It's caused by a fungus that was accidentally introduced to North America in 2006. So the more eyes we have across the province and the country, the more we can learn about the remaining populations. So what is the Neighborhood Bat Watch? It's a citizen science initiative that allows people to contribute data on bats in Ontario in other provinces. We're primarily interested in where bats are roosting, but you can also report observations and the locations of any bat boxes you have put up. Even if you live within the city, most green spaces with trees will have some kind of bat activity. To start with, you'll need a bat roost. These can be a bat box, a barn, or a house. Having bats roost in your home might seem concerning, but they don't typically cause any damage, and many homeowners are happy to coexist with them, or don't even know they're there. A large gathering of bats in the summer is generally a maternity colony, where female bats have gathered to raise their babies together, so this is very important to document. The next step is to count how many bats there are, but before we head out, we'll need to register on the website and download the data sheet. The homeowner notified us of this roost. Now we can fill in the data sheet, noting down the date, start time of survey, environmental conditions like cloud cover, moon cycle, the temperature, and GPS. Most of this information can be found using your cell phone. We also note the structure type, type of habitat, and any potential threats in the area that may affect the health of the bats, like development, pesticide use, or proximity to wind farms. Our team is assessing potential areas the bats may be emerging from. Now we wait for the first bat to emerge, which tends to be around sunset and record that time. And finally, this is where you input your data onto the website. Again, this data is very important for understanding our bat populations here in Ontario. Remember, while watching bats is easy, please do not touch them. Like many other wild mammals, and although these occurrences are rare, bats can transmit rabies through a bite or a scratch. If this happens, please seek medical attention immediately for post-exposure vaccinations, which are free from public health. They are wild animals and will act in self-defense, despite their size. Why don't you give it a try and count the bats as they come out? Did you count 24 bats? Now that you know what to do, all you need is bats. Good luck, and thank you for joining us today.